Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma Demystified. And are you a data hoarder? You know, most companies I go into, they have way too much data, right? And, and they become almost confused, right? This is uh, from the Lean strategy over production. We have all this data, but nobody seems to know how to analyze it and figure out what to do with it. Are you hoarding that data? The other thing I find sometimes is there's somebody out there collecting data about defects, mistakes, and errors, but they don't want to share it with anyone because they think it's their job to fix it. And if they let anybody else look at their data, uh, oh my God, that, you know, I'm admitting defeat, I'm a failure. Forget it, okay? The job is to move the business forward. So here's what I'd like you to think about. If you're hoarding data, that other people could look at and analyze, like me, right? <laughs> you know, maybe it's time to get some help to figure out what to do with that data. Or maybe you have lots of data. So maybe from uh, orders, invoicing, purchasing, payments, any of that stuff, we could gather all this data. Medical record systems, any sort of, of IT system that helps run your business, there are so many transactions. And certain numbers of those transactions fail or fall out and have to be looked at manually and reworked. You know, one of my, one of my best ones was, you know, finding out um, why a, a hospital system was having $12 million a year in denied charges. And when we drilled down into that data, got that out of there, got it into Excel, and we're able to do some pivot charts, pivot tables and control charts and Pareto charts and stuff like that, we found ways very quickly to save $5 million a year big bucks. And early on, you know, I helped the phone company save 20 million in postage and 16 million dollars in adjustments. And it was simply by gathering this data out of these big systems, putting it into Excel and doing a little data analysis because there's big profits in small data. You know, you don't need big data to solve this. You just need a little bit of data because the patterns are in there no matter how much data you look at. So stop being a data hoarder. Stop being a data miner. Take that data out, run it through the, the data mining wizard, right? And let it create control charts, Pareto charts, and fish bones for you so you can figure out exactly what to fix and how to fix it. So stop being a data hoarder, start being a data miner. And that I think will take you and your company a long way towards performance improvement, profitability, productivity, happiness, you know, employee morale, customer satisfaction, and so on. And it doesn't take a lot of energy, but you do have to stop hoarding it and start using it. I'm Jay Arthur. See you on the next video.